ready yet. Do you mind? You zoom me in too early. Oh, now meet him in. Keith. Okay. Right, now it's time to do the review. Hmm. Nice quiche, that. Okay, today we've got something a little different. As usual, we went out. We were looking for thing about your things. And as usual, it was my wife that spotted this one. But this one is slightly different. Because when I bought it, we knew that it was never ever going to work. That even as a brand new system, still boxed, still sealed, it's never going to work. Why is that? We'll find out in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the Netjet. Tiger Electronics. Behold its greatness. Yes, I've left it here in its ball wrap because we're going to be unsealing it in a bit. Now, as I said, this is a system with a uh, difference and the name of it will probably give it away exactly what it is. This system was released in 2006 by uh, Tiger Electronics who uh, well, they've been going for a long time and they've had some really good games and some real disasters, unfortunately. But they tried again with this, the NetJet. It was aimed at kids about eight years old. And basically what it was is a secure way of playing games online. Yes, that was the ace up the sleeve of the NetJet. It has no games built into it. All of its games are purely found online. What this thing is, is basically a controller which has the games come as keys, which you'll see in a bit. I shall uh, show a few to you when we unwrap it. But they have game, the keys which plug into the back, well, they plug into the top of the NetJet. And what this basically does, you plug it down into your PC through the USB port and the key authorises you to go on the site and play the relevant game. Now, when I first saw this, I realised there's a basic flaw to this system. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> hmm. You see, no company is going to keep uh, a website going that is not economical anymore. So obviously once this uh, it stops selling, the website goes down. Now, obviously, this being Tiger Electronics and uh, having quite a few uh, bad misses lately, this was another one. This all went wrong, and uh, as you'll see, it says on the back of the case, the website was only committed to be supported to the first of the first 2009, and in fact, it was. And after then, it closed down, which made every one of these units which sold for about £40, which is about oh, $70 to $80. So that's not cheap for a little control, basically. So it rendered all of these instantly obsolete. Now, thanks to a few people who recorded these on YouTube a few years ago, we still have videos to show you the games. I shall uh, put some uh, links up at the end to show you these games. But in the meantime, Let's have a closer look at the system itself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wonderful world of the Net Jet from Tiger Electronics. Here we have one uh, wrapped up in its bubble wrap. This one is actually in a moderate condition, so this will not be my victim for opening. Because I only paid £4 for these, including two games, or three games, including the one installed, I got two. This one this is the one that's in better condition, so. Uh, this will be saved. Anyway, let's have a look around it. Uh, you got your advert for your game included. Nudget. No pop, no ads or pop-ups. As this was aimed at the, uh, as I said, about eight to eleven year olds. As it says, ages eight. Get more keys. Play more games. Speed straight to your own online arcade. Yes, you can uh, battle other people on this, which was a good thing. So basically what they're doing is like uh, Xbox, Xbox 360 and all them where you can go online but without paying a fortune but the thing is you can do all that thing without buying this you can just go on the uh, 
on the get on the online games anyway. You don't need this. The only advantage just gave uh, was that it gave protection for parents that the kids were going on safe sites. That's really the only advantage. And you had a controller, but you get a controller anywhere. On the back, you've just got your usual stuff, showing you a few of the games there, which is uh, quite interesting. It looks a bit like Mario Kart there. And specs, and all that. And here tells you where's it gone. Oh, yes. Hasbro is committed to maintaining service for this product until 1st of 1st, 09. Which is what happened. So, that one's in reasonable good condition. This one isn't in such condition, so I'm going to open this one. So, uh, Bye bye fingers while we try and open the death trap from hell. Ow, 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 ow. Yes, those of you who are British persuasion will probably recognise the Argus code here. In fact, that's where I got it from. It was an Argus resale outlet. Oh, God, those things are deadly. Right, inside we've got a few things here. Right, that's the casing gone. This is a. Uh, an installation guide. You don't want to see that. Right, and then here we have the object of desire itself. Pull this off to make it easier to get out. And see how that oh, there we go, pops out. I think that's that case uh, destroyed. Now obviously this is it. What the hell? Here's the key. I wouldn't like to be an eight-year-old trying to open this thing. Kill myself. Right. Okay, let's get rid of that lot. This is the uh, NetJet itself. Obviously it's USB. First impressions. Let's have a few presses here. Joystick. That's not too bad. That's got quite good feedback. Yeah. Might be a bit heavy for an eight-year-old, but uh, buttons seem all right. Not too bad. Quite comfy. Design obviously designed for smaller hands. Uh, start button there. Nothing in particular to look at. Obviously, it's powered by the USB. It doesn't need batteries. And here's the uh, the key itself. So, let's have a quick look around it. On the left, you've got your uh, oh, whatever you call them. One of them. In the middle, you've got this little window here. Just show you the game you're playing. Appears through the window there on the key. There's a the start button. Uh, your joystick here, which is a very slack joystick. And then your traditional four buttons there. You've also got two uh, shoulder buttons there for fire. Which actually do feel a little bit cheap on reflection. But, no, it's not too bad. This, when you consider that this was 40 quid when it was new. You would expect it actually to be a little bit better than this, and this plastic, I don't think it's really suitable for kids, you know, really scratchy. It's not bad, badly made, but it's not what you'd expect for the price. Okay, the keys themselves. Right, the keys themselves. Sorry for any uh, continuity problems there. Uh, batteries went on strike. This is the one that comes with it, it's a demo key. And they come on a little funky uh, funky key ring, so obviously carry them around on the keys while you're at school or whatever. Uh, demo key, a uh, little chip, a bit like a pin card, pin, uh, nah, sorry, like a SIM card. Plug it in, authorizes you for the website, plugs into your PC, and you can go on, play the game, and control it through there. Now, there were some 40 games for this, apparently. I don't know how they were organized, but I've got four of the keys here. Now two of these aren't in a very clean condition because they've had tape on them thanks to our lovely friends at Argus. But uh, behind there, let's check how this is, now you can see this, right. Behind there you have Super Soaker. Behind all that sticky, stacky stuff. Um, some game graphics there. It doesn't look too bad actually. And looking at the videos, the, the games themselves weren't too bad. It's just a shame there. Uh, couldn't last you longer. Next we've got Marble Blast XP. Why? What? I don't know what XP stands for. Don't ask me whatsoever. Or I will become mad. I'm forced to make you drink my tea. Anyway, yes, yeah, so uh, Marble Madness. 
obviously a far more advanced version of Marble Madness on the NES. Although, not hugely advanced these days because it doesn't exist. Just get that out of camera shot. Naughty, naughty. Right, next we have Paintball Power Up. This one's in good condition because this came with the other game. And uh, you can see there, run around the arcade land, firing paintballs at people. And if those kids outside don't shut up, I'll be firing paintballs at them. Okay, and the piece de resistance Transformers Battle Universe includes four games. Now, there's one game included on here which you could play, and then you'd have three different versions for the online. Well, see, all, all games were online. But there was one loan and three that you had to go online to play. <laughs> and three others that were in the arcade section. Okay. And there we go. You can see the back. Now the interesting thing about this now is if you go onto the Transformers site now, as of when this film was made, uh, there's actually a Transformers game on there, which I imagine is pretty similar to the one you had on this system. So, that's the system, and it's keys themselves. Now, as I stated before, in its time, when it was working, you could actually use the games. Yes, this, this wasn't a bad system to use because the games aren't actually that bad themselves. And if you're going to resell, resell it to a low price, yes, then perfect. But obviously now, it's completely defunct because Tiger Electronics, which now owns by Mattel, don't run the website anymore. So, it's completely useless. So should you buy this? Do I need to even answer that question? No! Don't buy it! You can't use it at all. So, unless, like me, you're a complete geek and you're interested in technology and just want something to uh, show a bit of history of computing and computer gaming, then avoid like the play. In the meantime, if you want to see what the videos did look like, basically flash games and uh, thanks to a few people who recorded one of them a few years ago on YouTube, there's a selection of videos here to have a look at some of the games. So uh, go along to these people, have a look at their videos and enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Nedjet for Atari Electronics.